thought a rope bridge would be a great place to talk about the bunchberry dogwood plant. This is a little plant. The flowers are only like 0.1 inches off the ground. They grow in northern spruce forests all over the northern part of North America. They have this amazing ability. Because the flowers of this plant are so small, they have to propel their seeds and pollen upward to get to the flowers. Now this is an amazing process because what God has placed inside of the mechanisms of this plant for pollination is a little trabergé. A what, you say? Well, think of a medieval catapult. I mean, some of the classic movies of all time are like the Lord of the Rings movie, as the orcs are attacking and they're coming and they're loading enormous blocks of stone on these great big machines that send a weight forward that propels a long arm and could send thousands of pounds hurling through the space to smash into the castle walls. Well, that's what this little plant has. It literally, when the leaves of the flower fold back, a mechanism springs forth that sends forth this pollen at 2,500 times the acceleration of gravity, 2,400 g-forces. Now astronauts are in danger of blacking out when they hit 10 g-forces of mass, massive acceleration. This happened so fast that when scientists were trying to capture this process, they tried to use a camera that would take pictures in one one thousandth of a second and it was nothing but a blur. It was happening so fast. They had to find special high speed cameras that could snap pictures in one ten thousandth of a second because the whole process from opening up to shooting would only last for four one ten thousandths of a second. Much faster than the blink of an eye. Think for a moment about the engineering and the design and the intelligence that it took people even hundreds and hundreds of years ago in the medieval period of Europe to construct these very large catapult type traverges with the long arm and the mechanism and the weight and the cables and everything that was holding it together and anchoring it and holding the payload to be released at exactly the right moment. God has built on a miniature scale trabergés inside of this little plant far exceeding the capabilities of anything mankind has ever built. And we know when we're looking at complex mechanisms and machines with lots of parts, they could never have made themselves because all the parts have to be designed in the right place, in the perfect shape, all at the same time or nothing works. Exactly the same thing is true with this small flower. Had to have been designed by God. And these are the ways God makes it absolutely apparent. So we will know that he exists by observing even the tiny little flowers on a forest floor, which he has made.